Now we want to turn now to a dramatic and historic day at the U.S. Capitol. Republican Congressman Paul Gosar of Arizona became only the 24th member in the history of the House of Representatives to be censured. Gosar earlier this month shocked his fellow lawmakers, posting a violent animated video targeting Democrats. Here's CBS's Chris Van Cleve. Will Representative Gosar present himself in the well? Tonight, a historic rebuke on the House floor after controversial Arizona Congressman Republican Paul Gozar posted an anime video depicting himself flying through the air and killing Democrat Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and then heading for President Biden wielding two swords. Representative Paul Gosar of Arizona be censured. Gozar is now the first member of Congress to be simultaneously censured and stripped of his committee posts. I do not espouse violence towards anyone. I never have. It was not my purpose to make anyone upset. Gozar's censure, a punishment just short of expulsion from Congress, was pushed by dozens of House Democrats, including Ocasio-Cortez. When we incite violence with depictions against our colleagues, that trickles down into violence in this country. Republican leader Kevin McCarthy called the vote an abuse of power. The speaker is burning down the House on her way out the door. Republicans Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger joined all House Democrats in voting yes. House censures are rare, happening only six other times in the last century. Gozar is an ardent Trump supporter who has spread baseless claims of election fraud and falsely called January 6th Antifa provocation. His own family has called for his removal from office, even appearing in a campaign ad for his 2018 opponent. We got to stand up for our good name. Also tonight, a federal judge in Washington sent a message sentencing the so-called QAnon shaman Jacob Chansley to nearly three and a half years in prison, calling his actions horrific. Chansley is one of the most recognizable figures on January 6th, wearing face paint, fur, and horns. He told the judge, I was wrong for entering the Capitol. I have no excuse, and the behavior is indefensible. And tonight, Steve Bannon, who is facing criminal contempt of Congress charges for refusing to cooperate with the January 6th committee, is pleading not guilty. He is set to be in court tomorrow for what's described as a virtual hearing. Nora? Chris Van Cleve with all the news here in Washington. Thank you.